Hi, and welcome to another Miracom Minute. In this video, I will cover TX3 Touch panel configuration and customization. I will walk you through configuring a static IP address, configuring the appearance, creating and modifying themes, modifying banners and screensavers, configuring email messages, and button customization. Administrator's Responsibilities In order to keep the TX3 system secure, it is strongly recommended that the panel administrator follow these precautions. Change the default password on the touchscreen to prevent any unwanted access. Perform a virus scan on all picture and video files before importing them into the touchscreen. Secure the TCP IP network to prevent unauthorized access to the touchscreen. Do not forward the remote desktop port of the touchscreen to the internet. Always program your touch panel from an administrative computer using the TX3 configuration and monitoring utility. To configure a static IP on your touch panel, enter 9999 and your passcode to enter the touch panel's configurator. Navigate to File in the menu bar and select Shutdown and Exit to Windows. A closed confirmation window will appear and select OK. Once the configurator has shut down and Windows Explorer has opened, in the left pane select the desktop icon. In the desktop select Control Panel, then click on the category in the top right corner and select Large Icons. Open the Network and Sharing Center by clicking the icon. In the Network and Sharing Center, click on the Local Area Connection to open the Local Area Connection window and select the Properties button in the lower right-hand corner. In the Properties window under the Networking tab, double-click the Internet Protocol version 4, and in the General tab, click on the Radio button to use the following IP address. Enter the Static IP, Subnet Mask, Gateway, and DNS Server addresses and click OK. Customizing the touchscreen appearance allows you to set the layout, theme, including videos and banners, and other specific user options. To configure the touch panel's graphical user interface, log in as administrator, and in the job tree, expand a network and touch panel and select touchscreen. In the right pane, navigate to layouts. There are four layout presets and four virtual keyboard options. Full size displays the keyboard in full size. Full and Num displays the keyboard in full size with numbers. Simple displays the keyboard in basic formatted lettering. Accessible displays a keyboard selection button and resident scroll buttons at the bottom of the screen. In the Themes tab, you can set the font size, color, and element attributes. Custom themes can be saved as .thm files and existing themes can be imported into configurations. The existing four preset themes are fixed and cannot be modified. A test button in the touch panel's configurator lets you look at the selection without exiting the administrator mode. Please note, if you are using the configuration and monitoring utility on your admin PC, the test button has been omitted. In the themes tab in the touchscreen options window, select one of the four custom buttons and click the customize button. The custom theme window will open, allowing you to change fonts, sizes, and colors of the graphic user interface. Use the test button to preview your customizations without exiting the admin mode. Once you have a custom theme, you can export and import a THM file and apply it to all touch panels on site. Once you have completed your custom theme, click OK and send an exit in the toolbar. The Videos and Banners tab allows you to select various media options for your touch panel. There are four locations where media can be displayed top and bottom banner, main video, and screensaver. Please refer to the manual for supported dimensions and media types. To set the main video, click the icon and the media selection window will open. Select the single video radio button and use the select file button to locate the file. Select the original size button if you have created the video to the touch panel specifications. Use resize to fit when the images or video file are not to the touch panel specifications. For best results, render your media to the touch panel specifications. You can also preview the media using the media navigation buttons below the preview window. And volume to the right. Press OK to apply the settings and exit the media selection window. There is also an integrated advertising module you can purchase a license to help offset costs and generate revenue for the property. The advertising module can play videos, banners, or a slideshow of pictures, which views can be scheduled by date, time, through the playlist schedule. You can also print an advertising report which displays various KPIs for the advertisement.
In the More Options tab in the Touchscreen Options window, you can adjust the screen contrast, master volume, and VoIP event and voice volume. The VoIP event and voice slider sets the volume of all notifications, including VoIP calls, as a percentage of the master volume. Use the Play button to preview the level. The Voice Prompt checkbox enables voice prompting for every selection. The Keyboard Voice checkbox enables the audible keystrokes. The Show Clock checkbox enables the clock display. The Show Date checkbox enables date display. The Scroll by Page radio button enables page scrolling, while Scroll by Line enables line scrolling. The Auto Get Job checkbox should only be enabled on touch nodes connected via RS45 and not IP masters. This function ensures the touchscreen database is up to date with any changes done to the resident directory of your configuration. In the More Options tab, you will find the Resident Group button. In the Group Configuration window, click on the Add button to create a resident group. In the Group Details section, enter a group name and dial code start and end range. In the Button Mode section, you can select from Text Only, Logo Only, and Text and Logo. Please use the Group Logo Select button to locate the logo of the resident group and press OK to apply the changes and exit from the Group Configuration window. Please ensure that the Enable Groups checkbox is enabled prior to sending the job. Below the Resident Group button, you will find the Email Messages button. Click on the button to access the Email Messages option window. Enable the Email Messages checkbox and select your server type from the drop-down list. Enter your email account information and use the Send a Sample email to test functionality. Press OK to apply the settings and exit the Email Messages option window. The function of the Call Reception and Leave Message buttons on the touchscreen main interface are customizable. By default, the Call Reception button calls the guard phone and the Leave Message button opens a window where the visitor can enter a message that is sent to the resident if the email messages are configured. You can customize these buttons to a specific dial code instead. Click on the Customize buttons and the Customize window will appear. If you want the Call Reception button to call a different dial code, select the Custom Radio button and enter the dial code you would like the selection to contact. The Leave Messages button default sends a message via email but this can also be changed to a specific dial code. This concludes our TX3 touch panel configuration and customization video. This has been another mere calm minute. Thanks for watching.